Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how we can get the reactants needed to produce ammonia. You should now be familiar that the symbol equation is 3H2 plus N2 goes to 2NH3, and H2 is hydrogen, N2 is nitrogen, and NH3 is ammonia. You should also know that this symbol is a reversible reaction sign, meaning the reaction can go both ways. What you may not know is that ammonia is used as a fertilizer. It's a really important chemical that's used in farming all over the country. So where do we get the hydrogen and nitrogen to make ammonia? Nice and simply, if we start off with nitrogen, it's in the air, there's 78% of it. So what we do is use a process called fractional distillation. Hydrogen, on the other hand, is found in our crude oil. So it's found in something called a hydrocarbon, which is something made of hydrogen and carbon only. So we take our crude oil, for example, C2H6, and we break it down and take the hydrogen from it. That's all you need to know from this video. So let's have a look and see the type of questions you can get based on it. The two questions then are, number one, write the balanced equation for the production of ammonia in the harbour process. You don't need to know what the harbour process is just yet, that's going to come up in a later video, but we've talked about how it's produced, so how do we make ammonia, what are the two things, write the balanced equation for it. And then number two, explain how the reactants for the harbour process are obtained. Again, it's what we've just been talking about, so how are those two things that make ammonia obtained from, from the atmosphere? Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So the balanced equation then, you should remember you've got nitrogen and hydrogen. You should also remember that nitrogen is N2 and hydrogen is H2. You should remember that it's a reversible reaction. Therefore you put this symbol in. And you should remember that ammonia is NH3. So you get one mark for going N2 plus H2, and one mark for NH3 and the reversible sign. The next thing to do is balance it. So I've got NH3, I've got three hydrogens, that's an awkward number, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this. By doing that, I'm going to have six hydrogens and two nitrogens. My nitrogens are now balanced, therefore I need six hydrogens on this side. I've got two, so I'm going to times it by three which gets me six and that will get you your third mark. For question two, explain how the reactants of the harbour process are obtained. Hydrogen, you should remember it's from crude oil or hydrocarbons, you could say either of those to get the one mark and your nitrogen is from fractional distillation of air so remember to get that fractional distillation in. Okay that brings this video pretty much to an end, there is a review question for you. This time it gives you the balanced equation for the harbour process and says explain the use for ammonia and how the reactants are obtained. So what is ammonia used for, why do we need it, and how are the reactants obtained? Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.